What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films and today I'm going to be teaching you how to edit 4K videos with a slow computer. More specifically, edit a Phantom 4 Pro 4K video with a slow computer. Now this computer I'm using right now is not slow because I have to use a fast one. Well, it's not really fast, it's like four years old, but I have to use a decent one to be able to record video or a screen cap. So I'm using the software DaVinci Resolve. If you don't know what it is, it's a free, totally free software from Blackmagic Design that I use all the time. This is how I color grade, etc. whatever. I'm going to keep going because not a lot of people have patience. All right, so the first thing we need to do is upload our footage in DaVinci Resolve. I have it set up here, Phantom, so I'm just going to grab a couple of them. It's going to say the clip has different frame rate than the current project settings. That's fine. I'm going to say don't change because I want to keep the same frame rate, which is 20 frames per second or 24 frames per second. Go ahead, don't change. Uh, grab a couple of ones here. And like I said earlier, my computer is really not that slow. Even though it's old, it still plays 4K just fine. But it's, sh I mean, your computer, if it's slow, it's not gonna play it like this. So just follow what I'm doing in the Finger Resolve and you're gonna be fine. The next thing we need to do is um, click, right click here, sorry, right here, right click, turn this on, put a check mark on optimized media, and go ahead and exit out of that. Next thing we're gonna do is click this cog wheel here, bottom right. We're gonna go to general options, which I'm already there. And under optimized media, you're going to choose a resolution. 1 16th is obviously the crappiest laptop, 1 8th is decent, but for the sake of this example, let's go to 1 16th. What this is going to do is it's going to optimize your footage. Think of it as like a proxy, but it's an online proxy. You don't have to worry about anything else. The Vinci Resolve does it for you. So 1 16th is good. We're going to press save. Now the next thing we're going to do is highlight all the footage we want to optimize by just shift clicking each one of them, right click, generate optimized media. Now depending on your computer, this might take hours, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. I'm going to pause the video right now and I'm going to come back when it's done. All right, so now that it's done, we're going to check to see if it is finished. We're going to scroll here and remember we turned on the option here right here, optimize media. So now we can see it's showing your resolution for that footage. And you can tell because it just got crappy. But when you press play, you should be able to get a smooth playback. So if you go to edit, which is kind of like your timeline, you're going to create a new timeline, zero. Okay. Now here is our clip. So now I can scrub through that with no problem. And I know what you're thinking. It's like, that's pretty crappy. Well, the point is, is just we're using this proxy to edit. So we're going to go ahead and chop up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut here. You know, it's just so much faster because we're using proxies. So let's go ahead and do that, whatever, you know. And after that, if you want to go back to the old resolution, the original resolution, all you have to do is click playback uncheck use optimized media and then move and voila there goes your full resolution and this is when you actually grade your stuff too you can turn it on and turn it off anytime just like that and that's freaking sweet now this doesn't have to be a 4k footage if you're having issues with 1080p 1440p whatever resolutions this will work too so I just wanted to make a quick video about this. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.